Hi, are you suffering from asthma? Do you have kids who suffer from asthma? My name is Daniel Genet, speaker, coach, trainer, and founder of Detox Your Life. Today I'd like to share with you three tips, very easy tips that you can apply right now in your home that's going to help you reduce your asthma symptoms. The first one, um, try to avoid as much as possible all the scented products. Uh, it can be from like the uh, soap that you use to clean your clothes, um, fabric softener, uh, soap wash, when you wash your hands with. Uh, all scented products are usually filled with chemicals um, and the worst of all um, is uh, usually f air fresheners that we have in the house. Some, they, it's, they're usually full of chemicals, um, full of a lot of chemicals which are uh, smell, they smell, they smell like lavender but it's, uh, there, it's no, if you read the ingredients there's no lavender at all. It's just a smell, a chemical that smells exactly like it. So it, it irritates your, uh, your lungs and, uh, and all your airways. It's going to uh, irritate, irritate them and you're going to have more symptoms. So if you try to avoid all those things, it's going to help you a lot. So if you want to have an air freshener that's, that's, uh, that's healthy, you can go to the, uh, like a natural food store, you buy some um, uh, pure uh, lavender oil or whatever oil you like. You take this and you dilute it with water, you put it in a mason jar, you, uh, you put holes in, uh, in the cover and uh, it's going to be uh, having a, a product that's going to be smelling good in your house but without having to uh, put a lot of chemicals in the air. So that's the first trick. Uh, the, fir the, the second tip I'd like to share with you is uh, if you can keep as much as possible between 35 and 40 percent humidity in, in your home, it's going to help you a lot. Uh, if you go say uh, um, uh, pneumologist, when you go see them, they tell you this because they say if, they're, if your, your airways are um, humidified, airways it's going to help you a lot, it, it's not going to be uh, as hard on your asthma. But the thing that they don't know and they don't tell you is if you have between 35 and 40 percent in your home, it inactivates most of the chemicals. So it, the, the, the molecule, the chemical molecule binds with water, falls on the ground, so it's not in the air anymore, so you have, you have clean air to breathe. So it's very, very easy tips, buy a humidifier, thing like that, keep that level in the house, it's going to help you a lot too. So that's the second tip. The third one. Um, you can buy uh, air purifier. They, 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 there's different models, but the best one you should, the one you should choose is an HEPA, HEPA filter. But before talking about this, if you have um, a thermopump in your house or, or uh, a, a ventilation system that goes inside the house everywhere with docking systems, uh, buy. Try. There's always filters in the system. Try to buy the best one you can have. Uh, for your the, the way that your system is installed, but the best one you can have, it's going to help you a lot. It's going to prevent chemicals from going everywhere in the house. But the easiest way is to bring in the room that you're spending a lot of time with, or your bedroom. That's usually a very good place to be uh, putting an air filter. Uh, you put that in an in air puff filter in your room, and you make it work at maximum during when you're not in the room. But uh, you can lower it, uh, lower the level intensity levels if you uh, if you want to have the uh, if the sound bugs you or things like that but very important why an EPO filter all the filters are good but EPO filters is at least hundred times more uh, more um, and more efficacy with the EPO filter than a regular one so it helps a lot and it helps preventing uh, taking out the COV which is the organic um, uh, organic compound, volatile organic uh, uh, compound in the air. It's going to help you a lot because those things are very, very ir it irritates a lot your lungs. First, second of all, it's uh, it goes directly in the blood. So as much as possible, can lower the COV. That's a lot. That's a lot better. So if you can lower this, it's going to help a lot. And combined with all the two two other tips that I gave you, it's going to help you uh, reduce your symptoms uh, a lot. The three tips I share with you today. Number one, avoid chemically filled scented products. Build your own products, it's going to be a lot healthier, a lot safer, and usually a lot cheaper too. Number two, keep 35 to 40 percent humidity in your house all year long. It's going to help inactivate chemicals in the air, you're going to have a fresh air to breathe again. Number three, buy HEPA air purifier. It's going to help you clean all the COV from the air, have clean all the particles, so you're, you have less chance of getting the, your lung irritated. 
So hope all those three tips helped you a lot, that you uh, like them and going to be applying them. So if you want to know more, leave your, your first name and emails on the page on the right. And if you want to follow us, follow us on Facebook at Detox Your Life. Have a great day. See you soon.